Hey guys, it's Kerry. I'm looking at amazing Chinese animals. Pangolin. Their tongue is extremely long and muscular. Arising from the pelvis and the last pair of ribs deep in the animal's chest. As a result, the tongue and associated muscles are longer than the animal's head and body, allowing the tongue to be extruded to an astonishing degree. Their claws are large, sharp and recurved. They are able to spray a foul smelling liquid from their anal glands. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Binturong or bear cat. Leopard. There are three subspecies occurring in China. The Amur leopard, Indo-Chinese leopard and the North Chinese leopard. The Amur leopard is found in northeastern China and southeastern Russia. It has thick soft fur with long dense hair. Males grow to 136 centimeters. They have a 90 centimeter tail and their shoulder height is 78 centimeters. The Indo-Chinese leopard is a subspecies native to mainland South China and Southeast Asia in protected areas. The Indo-Chinese leopard skin is almost a rusty red in ground colour but much paler on the sides. The North Chinese leopard is native to northern China. Its prey base consists of wild boar and deer but like any other leopard it will eat almost anything it can catch including birds, rodents and even insects. It is about the same size as its northern cousin, the Amur leopard. The average weight in the wild is 50 kilograms. Male ring-necked pheasant and the Chinese red golden pheasant. Red panda. During the mating season, scent marking is increased by the female and the male then marks over her mark. Males leave their scent by urinating or rubbing their anogenital area on trees. They will interact and groom each other during their courtship for several hours prior to copulation. The male continuously checks her genital area, urine and feces to determine if she is receptive. The female initiates mating by flicking her tail, inviting the male to mount her. The actual mating process can last from 3 to 40 minutes. The males have a short backward facing S-shaped penis which is up to 5 cm in length. White cheeked gibbon their appearance varies by age and with sex. All infants are a beige colour. By the time they are one year old or one and a half years, their coats have become black with white cheek patches. At sexual maturity, males remain black and females turn a beige colour again. Both sexes have long dagger-like canines. Chinese alligator. The hatchlings are very similar to the adults with the exception that they have distinctive yellow bands along their bodies. Males can grow up to 2.2 meters long. Average length is one and a half meters. Chinese alligators are dormant from late fall into early spring when temperatures are cool. They create burrows in the banks of wetlands. As they are ectotherms and cannot create their own heat, they spend time basking in the sun to raise their body temperature. 
They have four short claw tip limbs with five partially webbed toes on each limb. Their long thick tail provides a primary locomotive force in the water. Kiru, they are a medium sized Tibetan antelope. Wolf, there are two subspecies of the grey wolf in China, the Eurasian wolf and the Tibetan wolf. In this species, the snout is slightly upturned. Black wolves in Tibet are known locally as Chanko Nagpo and these wolves are considered bolder and more aggressive than their pale coloured cousins. China's wolf population largely lives in areas where little human influence change has occurred. The Tibetan Plateau and the Mongolian Plateau and the Northeast Plain. The Tibetan wolf is the same as the Himalayan wolf. They are found all over Tibet. They grow to 110 centimetres in length and height is 76 centimetres. The Eurasian wolf averages up to 39 kilograms in weight, although some exceptionally large ones have been known to be 79 kilograms. Elephant. China's elephants are only found in the extreme south of the Yunnan province, bordering Burma and Laos. In ancient China, elephants were used for warfare by a small handful of southern dynasties. Elephants still survived in the southwestern provinces of China after the extinction of the Chinese elephant but they are of a different subspecies, the Indian elephant. These elephants are found in the Yunnan province. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read your comments and will always reply. Thank you for watching my video, see you again soon. See you guys in my next video.